All right, guys, welcome to the video. Anthony Special here with Hawkeye Traders. Going to be taking a look at Matador Resources Company today. Uh, ticker MTDR. Is it time to sell? Um, let's just kind of dive into the analysis together. Let's talk about the volume and the price action. Of course, I'll leave that decision up to you guys. But uh, the highest daily selling volume, I mean, since the highest buying daily volume back in April of 2022 just transpired the day prior to me shooting this video. So, Friday, June 28, 2024, you can see this candle here is exhibiting ultra high selling volume. Now, we did not close below the candle before it, which is a little bit concerning. But we are probably running at some form of significant resistance. Now, when I see selling volume this high and this aggressive, without seeing some significant price move, it can be a little concerning. Okay? Now you may think, but all the selling, the price is going to go lower. Not always, right? Not always. And the reason I say that is simple. Normally when we see these super ultra high volume climaxes like this, um, it could mean that the buyers have just run themselves out, right? It's very well possible. One of two things, or there was a whole bunch of stop orders here that got filled. Okay? That's also a possibility. But just running off this high, off this wide bar here, you can see, you know, we just tested what would be considered higher time frame resistance. So what can potentially transpire here and the reason i'm saying this very specifically is notice this candle here that printed on june 3rd 2024 super aggressive wide bar notice how much selling volume was involved in that wide bar right in comparison to how small this bar is here in relationship to how much volume was transpired here now if i'm going to consider shorting matador here I'm going to need some additional confirmation, okay? I'm going to really need to see, you know, this little counter run here get broken. You see, we got a little, little kind of pullback here, all right? I really want to see price come through that pretty aggressively because this could be very well a selling volume climax or seller's volume climax. And when that happens, that could tell me that, hey, there's a chance that we're going to kind of try to make a push here. Now, push to where? Always all these prior interior highs. Uh, looks like 61.89. The retest the top of that wide bar, 63.89. Run into some interior highs here at 65.88. Top of this candle here, 67.52. And then potentially back up here into this high. Now, you can also notice this high here was relatively weak, right? There was no new buying interest that came in. We, get, we got jammed up here and then we started selling off. But I am a little concerned about this ultra high selling volume. So the reason I'm shooting this video is I want you to now look at this over the next couple coming days, perhaps even a couple coming weeks, um, and see how this ultra high selling volume played out. If we are able to hold this little upward push and continue to break out from here, that would confirm this is a selling climax, right? If we're unsuccessful in doing so, and sellers continue to press, you know, at the open of Monday morning, um, you know, then we should break this little counter trend line coming back here into this low. Now you can see we had about, we had some choppy price action here. Previously, you know, I always look at interior highs and lows. I think they're meaningful. You know, if I come in here, I would say that that kind of the line we're standing on right now um, presses these couple highs here, this test, this test here. You can see we stumble before we break this level. So I think we're at a key point. And what I'm looking at very specifically is did the sellers or were the sellers unsuccessful in overcoming what should be at this point considered support? Because you can see you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine touches of resistance. We finally break it. One, two, three touches there. 
We touch it and hesitate here. We break it. We come back above it. We break it. And now we're back right at it. So I think we're at a very pivotal price point based on how price and volume has reacted around this specific level, roughly 59.50 there, all right? And if the sellers are unsuccessful in driving through this area, I do think we could start to see a rebound here and perhaps even a bigger picture, higher low being placed. As you can see, price has kind of ran this level here as well. Quite a few times we've danced both above and below it. But uh, this could well, very well be a higher low if we are successful in holding this area and pushing higher. And this is, in fact, a, uh, a seller's volume climax. So, again, I shot this video because I think it's important for you to see this relationship about what transpires next when you see this high of volume. Uh, we are, again, resting at a key level based upon how many times price has you know, hit this level and danced around it. So I encourage you to just throw Matador on your um, on your watch list. Reference this date when this huge selling candle came in here, Friday, June 28, 2024, and just notice what transpires next. If we hold this level and we can continue to, you know, the buyers, the sellers are exhausted, the buyers step back in, I think we can push higher from here. If we lose this level specifically that we're sitting on, um, then we could potentially come back in and retest even down here towards um, 5323. So just something to keep an eye on, guys. Super, super uh, high volume things like this will lead to um, more often than not the next sustainable move. And if we can hold this area, that next sustainable move may very well be to the upside. And if we can't, like I said, we'll push that low there. Um, that that little counter trend line's drawn off of and potentially even come into these prior lows. So keep an eye on this, all right? The reason I shot this video is I want you to just make a mental note to kind of keep watching this and see how the relationship between volume and price action plays out. All right, guys, I'll keep you up to date on this. I will shoot an update, you know, probably next week or the week after, all right, and see if this was in fact a seller's climax and we do start climbing from here or if the sellers do continue to step in and take us lower. All right, I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Thanks so much for being here. Um, below this video, I'm going to also leave a link. I encourage you to click on it. I want you to take a little bit of time, dive a little deeper into this volume and price action uh, relationship, have a better understanding for yourself. Uh, if you're willing to sit through it, you know, let's get these indicators populated up on your trading screen. Uh, works on TradeStation, NinjaTrader, TradingView, and MetaTrader. Um, let's get you starting to understand this interaction as well. Doesn't matter if you're day trading, swing trading, or even looking to position trade. Having an understanding of that interaction of the two uh, will play a super vital, um, super vital role in the thought process that you're going to make continuing from here. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for being here. God bless and have a wonderful day.